Hello everyone, this is Gregor. Welcome to the stream. Good evening to Posh Hamster as well. <laughs> um, tonight I'll be doing a bit more Baldur's Gate as usual. Hold on. There we go. Um, and I think I kind of like run out of uh, what would you have me do? quests to do at this point, so I'm just like, you know, doing. Uh, uh, the main story, which is kind of like what's left to be done at this point. Um, <clears throat> I will go and check something I was told might be a good idea with um, with regards to Baldurans Cloak and... Uh, what's it called? Um, Helm? Yeah. I'm, I'm just like a bit slow today, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, apparently there's like a way to get the cloak, even if I did kind of fuck up the the order of that quest. Now, let me see. So, what we're looking at, um, looking at, no, what we're looking for is the helm and cloak, um, in, which I don't actually think is around here. It's like down here. Yep, this is the district we were in. Maybe at the docks. Here then. Oh well, we, we do actually need to also make another small detour here, first of all. Because um, I kind of want to check if this guy has does another like potion of thievery. Yeah, too big city. I know. <laughs> it's kind of a. Um, uh, it's kind of like a pain in the ass to remember where everything is. But you know, it, 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 it's fine. Yes. 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 Uh, now let's see. I'm looking for a potion of Master Thievery for starters. That's like one thing that I want. I'm not sure if this guy actually has any. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm just gonna get all three of them, because you never know. Oh shit. Yes. I didn't actually buy them, did I? <laughs> Oops. Done. Buy. Perfect. Okay. Um. To make it smaller with fire spells. <laughs> If only that was a thing you could do in Baldur's Gate. Unfortunately, this is kind of like um, it's kind of like long before the games had destructible scenery and stuff like that. But I mean, it's, it's it's an interesting way to deal with the problem, if I'm being honest. house, helm and cloak. There we go. So I did kind of get tipped off that. Um, like, I don't know if you remember, I mentioned last time that um, the actual helmet of Balduran wasn't on the statue itself. It's kind of like a fake and you need to be told where the original is. Um, yeah, I kind of neglected or neglected to do this last time, unfortunately. Huh, you're a queer fellow. Wait, why won't... I should have joined the army. I should have joined the army. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. So if I'm not mistaken... Wait, it's not here? Okay, that's weird. Do you mind? I'm off to go shopping. 
Hmm, the Hellman Club provides excellent service and quiet atmosphere. I do not wish to repay the house by getting blood on their carpets and disturbing the other guards. To this end, I wish you to retreat from my room before I call the house guards. Okay, we'll be on our way out. After I pick some logs. Click. Someone has not I serve the flaming fist. Whoops. What would you have me do? So it's not here. Uh, maybe it's like back here then. Because mm. as it turns out, the original helm is hidden. I'm gonna say around here somewhere. Maybe. Uh huh. By temper, you're a shield. queer fellow. There we go. It's right there. However, there's also, I think, like a trap. Mm -hmm. Cool. There we go. Helm of Balduran. So, it's kind of an, an interesting helmet. It, um, let me just identify it first of all. It um, it's one of the very few items that actually gives hit points. It almost it makes you a lot tankier actually. Uh, in fact, it's probably great for Khalid at this point. Uh, let's see, the resistance ones should go to Branwen then. Let's see. So that's. Uh, that's where the actual helmet is uh, held. Um, and I still need to go tell the other guy that was looking for it that I'm keeping it. And he's probably going to attack me because, you know, duh. <laughs> um, hopefully it's not going to be too messy. Because if you uh, if you remember, the, the other guy was the, the one that summoned all those like spectral horrors and stuff. Okay, so now I need to find the blade and stars. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna go try and get the cloak as well. Um, the, the cloak... Oh, hold on, it's not the blade and stars. Oh my god, which one was it? Mm. It's like one of them is connected like in the underground with uh, um, what's it called um, I think it's called the underbelly I think it might be the, the blushing mermaid actually so it's just gonna come here and then exit back through here the blushing mermaid aha Mm-hmm. And just like enter through here, there's like a the door back here. So You must gather your party um, before venturing. What's your forth? name in, in this room has the cloak, but what you want? I, I didn't really have enough uh pickpocket to Hurry get up. it, so I'm gonna try and get like this. What is it yes. this time? It's like hope for the best as well. Quick save for the best as well. Hey, pickpocket succeeded! Mm. <laughs> and we just got the cloak. Actually, kind of need to do this. One. This cloak was repeated, repeatedly worn by Balduran, the founder of Baldur's Gate. Through, though it was never used in combat, it provides protection worthy of any great leader. I mean, it's really nice for me for like armor class and saving throws and magic save. Uh, but then again, I'm, I'll be losing the two charisma that uh, this gives me. So I'm kind of like thinking maybe Khalid might be a bit tankier thanks to it. <laughs> um, which I mean is probably for the best altogether. Because like realistically, while magic resistance is nice on the main character, I also don't really plan on getting him... Uh, to be the primary target anyway. <laughs> so Khalid is usually gonna be the one uh, I'm, 
I'm sending like in like first. Yeah, and aggro, aggro works kind of weird in this game, to be honest. It um, they, they tend to kind of target the first person they see, except in like some weird case when they don't. Um, okay, let's see. Baldurand Degrodel. Northwest part of town. Wait, is it here? No. Oh, never mind. Degrodel is in like the, the same map that uh, uh, the Helm and Cloak is. So that means that's kind of funny actually. That that means that the uh, like the Helm was like right next to him the entire time, and he just. I don't know, failed to um, like find out its location or something. Hmm. It's almost poetic if you think about it, but not really. <laughs> so I kind of want to. Um, Your wish? I kind of want to just like do this. Go talk to Degrodel, make him very angry at me. They just like run out where there's more space for stuff. Hi. You need something, stranger? Wait, has lost it here? I can't actually tell him to. What? Really? I'll get out of the way. Did he. Did he dimension door or something? Or does he just disappear? That's like such bullshit. Okay, uh, you have need of me? What would you have me do? You know what? I'm just gonna like turn in the quest and then immediately try and kill him. <laughs> Since he doesn't seem to be uh -huh. um, Caring much, I guess, for yes. uh, nature servant away. <laughs> You're a queer nice fellow. Your wish. What is your command? Buff a bit. Yes, oh omnipresent authority. What is it this time? Okay. Hurry up! Wait. You need something, stranger. Okay, let's do it. What would you have me do? Okay, uh, can I hello? Help you? No! No, kill the guy, kill the guy, kill the guy. Uh. Quickly. There we go. Thank you for that. Jerk. Hurry up! You should probably head out. Uh. <laughs> There's like more space to deal with these things. Oof. You rang? Can I get there? Ah, okay. What would you have me do? <laughs> Your wish? Hurry up! Uh-huh. Ooh, they've got it in Formira. That sucks. What is it? <gasps> what would you oh, have Jesus me do? Christ, what? Your wish? Like, not very... Oh, boy. You've attacked? Oh, boy. You rang? Take me to a licensed cleric. Uh, uh. What would you have me do? Like on the one hand, I really want to finish the quest, but on the other hand, those things are kind of a pain. And if you do that, you don't get quest completion. Uh, this is kind of annoying. Uh huh. I could get all <laughs> the range people fellow. on this side. Can I help you? What would you have me do? Like Nature servant awaits. Here. Like maybe have By a temper up. shield. Your wish. You have need of me. Need 
something stranger. What would you have me do? Okay, so what do we need to do here? Cost two things, maybe? No. Must cure. Oh, confusion. Okay. <coughs> yes, oh, oh, um, what is it? Is authority figure? For now. It's like everyone else tries to hit the. Uh, Your wish? Degrodel. Hurry up! Let's see spin as well. No! Wait, what? What would you have me do? Ah, screw that. I'm not gonna do this quest. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I mean, I did want to like, get the XP, which I, I remember is kind of like sizable. Sizable? No, not really. There's like 5,000 XP, which at this point of the game is nice. Um, but yeah, if it means having to go through that five or six times until I get everything right, then it, it can't wait for later. <laughs> Ba -pa -pum -pum -pum. Ba -pa -pum. Come on. Hi. I am a man of my word. I am a man of my word. Hello, Gregor. I have another job for you. This one involves a group you have dealt with in the past, the Iron Throne. Dugaltan himself wishes to speak to you about this. Will you come with me? Yep. So why does he tell us to wait for him outside and then he just like takes us back in? That's I so am a weird. man of my word. Let me introduce you to Grand Duke Elton, one of the Lords of the City, Commander of the Flaming Fist and member of the Lord's Alliance. I am glad to see that you have come. I know such a meeting is unusual, but in these circumstances it is not necessary. It is necessary. <laughs> I would first ask what involvement you have had with the mercenaries with the merchant society known as the Iron Throne. Um blah 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 blah. From what I've been told, you've been quite a thorn in the side of the Iron Throne. I'm interested in you because of the obvious hatred that they hold for you. The recent activities have been brought to my attention and I'm very dubious about the intent of the throne. I think it is far too easy to blame the recent caravan raids and iron shortages on the Zentarim. Though the evidence does point to them, they do not have much to profit, while the Iron Throne has everything to gain. I have much to concern me right now, especially with tension rising between our city and the nation of Am. Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I can't act against the Iron Throne until I have hard evidence of their wrongdoing. That's of course where you come in. I need a small group of spies to break into the Iron Throne headquarters and see if they can find any proof of the Iron of the Throne's involvement with the caravan raids. If you do this for me, you will be paid extremely well. 2,000 gold to divide among yourself. Wow, 2,000 gold. <laughs> okay, sure. Two thousand gold. Wow, this guy like a big spender. You're a queer fellow. Just like throw it on, on the pile with the other fifty-two thousand. <laughs> mm. Just like stealing shit from the flaming fist. Because why not? I mean, you shouldn't have lowballed me like that. <laughs> you jerk. Your wish? I mean, not, not, not that these things would like sell for that much, but you know, it's it's like the little bits here and there that kind of add up over time. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we want to enter the Iron Throne from like the basement. It's like a lot better that way. Because like definitely gonna be some fights. However, I also don't remember what happens if I try to enter by the front door. So I'm kind of curious to see. You must gather your I'm party like, hey guys, it's me, the, the guy you've been trying to kill. No time to chit chat. There we go. 
Out! Away! Fly while you can! There'll be madness here and I can stand it no longer! Hey, Major Rodrage, welcome, how's it going? How are we doing? How am I enjoying my first playthrough? Um, I mean, my first playthrough was kind of nice, like 20 years ago. <laughs> this is not actually my first, second, third, fourth or fifth playthrough. Um, I've actually been playing this since I was a kid. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just like being a bit... Uh, um, What's it called? Kind of blasé about it. Surely I don't remember everything since then. I mean, not everything. I remember all like the, the good bits. I remember like go for the ice boo. <laughs> and uh, oof. I remember some things. <laughs> for the glory of arm. <laughs> yes, exactly that. <laughs> How are we doing tonight? How's it going? Uh, let's see. Calm down and explain yourself, good sir, that I may, that I may understand you better. Come down, come down when Sarevox acolytes practice their magic cacophony. Magic or shouldn't it be magical cacophony above me? I dare say not, stranger. I dare say not at all. <laughs> okay. Gee, I wonder who this Sarevox guy is. He sounds important. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if we had come from the cellars, this is like kind of like probably like the long way around. Doesn't really save me anything by the looks of it. Which I did not remember. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Welcome to the Iron Throne Citadel. Could you please state your business, bring you here? Let's see. Uh, I don't remember if like any of these are had, like this, and I think we can bribe him. Uh, oh, there we go. Good business with your leaders. Strange. We've not been told about you, but no matter. You may come in. So I'm also kind of wary of like big sigils on the ground. Because, like, later on in the game, it, it ha kind of, like, has a, I want to say, tendency to put traps on them. I should have joined the uh, army. Whoops. There you go. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I'm going to, like, play down here. Like, the fifth floor. Sarevok asked us to deliver an important message to his acolytes. Hmm. <laughs> Better you than me. Working with that crowd can be downright creepy some days. I mean, how do you mean? I seen people go there with with one face and and come back down with another. Well, at least we know who's the who's behind the uh, doppelganger thingy at the Seven Sons. I don't know how else to say it. I got a keen eye for faces. I do, and I think I think them people going up and down know it too. Cause one time one of them caught me. Blah, blah. Cause one time one of them caught me looking at him, and he winked right at me, and then then he changed the colors of his left eye right as I was watching him. Something always bugged you. He's finished speaking. They would go dark and justice to exist. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially like um, uh, to, 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 uh, what's his name? Elminster, I guess. Like he, he, he's like the, the 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 primary offender for like that. Like, like every time he's like, "Oh, they're wanderer," and it's like uh, uh, he's just like done talking and then just poofs away. I mean, I guess it's mostly like kind of partially limitation of the engine and partially the developers probably not wanting you to, you know, fuck around with their NPCs. Like, I imagine if, like, you import the max level character and try to kill a minster at, like, the first encounter. Or uh, Drizzt or whoever. You there! What are you doing here? I don't recognize you. Hmm. Zambia, Kormir, yeah. Just come from Kormir. With business going so well there, we have brought a large sum of surplus money to his superiors. Sembia. <laughs> uh, okay. Sembia, I think it's like more... Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. No. It's possible to lock pick candle keep castle at level 2. Is it? I've never actually tried that. <laughs> Although, come to think of it, I've never actually done this game as a thief. So that might be it. Um, I've done like a paladin, and then another paladin, and then I think I tried like a dual class fighter mage, which didn't really work out that well, so I had to like drop the difficulty at some point. Uh, this guy's a blade because I kind of like wanted to import him to uh, Baldur's Gate 2 afterwards. Hmm. 
was like one more i think i also did like a mage which i kind of like was my first character that like went through the entire thing like from baldur's gate one to throne of Baal. uh oh fighter rogue mage and then only magic users after that that's fun <laughs> i mean magic is like really fun in this game but you, you you really need to be very careful until you start getting like third or fourth level spells but like once you do kind of like spam fireballs all over the place and <laughs> be done with it <laughs> wait a moment could you please tell me where you could find realtar it's important that i speak with him i've been given the run around too long Re realtar's damn son sarevok seems to think he's in charge here Let's ask for a name. I'm not sorry. And your Iron Throne high up answers to me. I've just arrived from Selgond in Sembia. The council wishes to know how things are faring. Now tell me where I can find Realtar. Yeah, pair of his Haha. Go there. Please don't die. <laughs> contingency? Yeah, but... Wait, you can... Isn't Contingency like a level 6 spell? I, th I thought you couldn't get those in like the original so it's like baldur's gate 2 only i guess or i guess i mean le lesser contingency might be lower i i don't remember i've like literally never done i, I mean don't give me don't... any lip peasant do you oh, know no. who i am stop talking to me um i've never been like a oh oh yeah like lesser contingencies four okay i thought it was like like five and six and like that fair enough defensive only oh so you can like store spells in it but it, it only like triggers when you get hit yeah i've never actually used that one at last someone who looks like they could use or they could be of some assistance the assorted boobs and dimwits around here have been of very little help but so good yeah i mean fair enough <laughs> oh wow can i can i actually tell her this i'm afraid you've mistaken us for someone else I'm Dimweed, and this is my good friend Boob. And behind me, you'll find Brainless and Moron. So, who's Brainless and who's Moron? I guess, like, Nira? Shahira? I don't know. How may I assist you? Mom, this, mom, that. I have little desire to suffer through more of your flat gentility. You may call me Emissary Tar and direct me towards the nearest staircase. I have some very important business to conduct on the fifth floor on behalf of the Grand Dukes. Uh. That has ghost armor protection from yeah fair enough i mean mirror image is also kind of nice i guess if you're fighting like ranged people and not like necessarily casters hmm. please whenever your business may be i urge you to reconsider i have a bad sense about this place and would worry for your safety there how foolishly chivalrous of yourself but i can take care of myself thank you very much besides i have an iron treaty to negotiate with aldorn and then Grand Dukes would hardly be pleased if I abandoned such an important duty for the likes of you now, would they? <laughs> if you insist on being as much of a boob and a dim with as the others, then I shall find the silly stairs on my own. Wow. There's like a... Kind of like in a hurry to go die. Hmm. Actually, I don't uh -huh. think like, I even found this spell with Nira. Yeah, I've only got like invulnerability and he looks he's still i guess like master summoning on the, on Hurry the bard. Up. trying to remember whether that armor was that allows you to cast spells while you're wearing it because that's kind of like the, the the whole idea of me even like teaching these guys spells what you want oh uh, what you nope, want nope 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 stop hmm hello you must be the city negotiators let me see on the list here emissary emissary tar Right on time, and a pleasure to meet you. My name is Destus Gern, Assistant Chief Accountant for the Iron Thrones operations on the South Coast. Now, just a brief, br uh, just a quick briefing on our negotiating procedures before you head on up the stairs. Thaldorn will be accompanied by a board of six Iron Throne advisors sent to us from abroad: Zaliman, Cloudwolf, Gardouche, Naman, Diab, Asim, and Alai. All of them quite respectable men and eager to meet you. We also have a seventh member on that board today, a Mr. Lyle Espejo. He's he there to ensure things go smoothly in this time of transition. As for the agenda... <laughs> uh, 
it went heavier than normal. Yeah, but I mean, kind of like as a blade, I don't really... Uh, what's it called? I like um, since I'm like a blade, I, I I really just like want as much armor as possible. What would you have me do? At, at least armor class, or as less armor class as possible, I guess. <laughs> what you want? Um, and I mean, like considering that you couldn't even like play as a blade in. Um, uh, what's it called in like the very very original Baldur's Gate? I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of fun. Uh, the, uh, like offensive. Uh, yeah, I know there were no subclasses. Um, considering like that, like at least the Your offensive wish? spin is so good at like melee, especially since like I've got like the Vascona and I guess I'm gonna get like the other one in a bit. Hurry up! Um, it's like around like plus two or something. Yeah, I, I've never actually like multi-classed, um, or did I? But no, I did like the like a like a fighter mage kind of thing. But the thing is, um, as far as I remember, you need to catch up you, with your second class in levels before you can use your first class's abilities. So they're like inherently a lot a lot weaker unless you were going for like a very specific combination. Uh oh. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Who dares intrude upon our negotiations? Oh, like, my Missalitar is here. My name is Gregor. I was wondering if I could ask a few questions. Gregor, you say? Ah, oh, yes. Saravog warned us that you might try to meddle. That meddling will stop here, however. <laughs> wow. Quite sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> there is an exit of sorts, and you will indeed be leaving. I would hazard a guess that the situation shall be a bit more permanent than you would have liked. Long ago you crossed the line that would have allowed for your survival. So it has been ordained. So shall it come to pass. So command Sarevok. Out we go. Mm. So yeah, I'm just gonna like... Uh, try and... Hmm. Okay, this, this seems like a better area to do stuff in. Uh, so Thy temper see. shield, nature servant awaits. What is it this time? Okay. Yep. Um. C uh, can I help you? Okay, let's pay this in. What would you so have me do? I go, cannot. Like, play fetch. <laughs> Just a moment. Bye. <laughs> Oh, hold on. They don't follow you to, 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 to like, transitions in a row. Oh, is he stuck? Oh, he's stuck. That's nice. Bye. <laughs> Your wish? Uh, I love doing this. I don't know why. <laughs> ah. Call me cheap, but I it, it, like, <laughs> never ceases fellow. to be amusing, honestly. Insurgents. Jeez, yes, I know. Uh oh. Hurry up! I mean, it's like big. It's between that and just like trying to fight against the stupid uh, like pathfinding all the time. Then I'm, I'm gonna take this like any time of the day. Plus, you know, I'm just like clearing out the the place a bit. You rang? Mm-hmm. What you want? Wait, why is she Oh no, she swapped to melee. What would you have me do? Oh boy. You have need of me? Uh-huh. Why did Nira come all the way to here to do fireball? Oh she didn't have line of sight, did she? Huh. Yeah, okay, that's like a, a spell cast I'm never getting back. Yep. Hurry up! Fine, let's do like that. 
Nope. Spellcasting save, that's fine. <laughs> so, I like how the, the mage kind of did dimension door and like left. This is kind of like saving me the. What would you have me do? Like the, the trouble of like. What is it this time? Into the face. Oh, no. Inventory is full. It's gonna be a Warhammer plus one. Oh, the container is full. I've actually re reached the point of like peak, uh, uh, peak potions. <laughs> hmm. Localize this. I'm gonna want to learn. Should maybe give this one to Nira. That's good. Protection from missiles. Confuse. Mm. Oh, there we go. That's like the, the one you were talking about. Minor sequencer, right? That's like two spells, though. This spell allows a wizard to store two spells and activate them both at the same time for his special from his special ability button. Both spells must be of the second level or lower. To create a sequencer, a mage must memorize not only minor sequencer but also the spells he intends to store in it. A sorcerer can store spells of any level for which he has still spell slots. After casting minor sequencer, the player will be prompted to choose the sequence spells. Blah 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 blah. So this is something that Nira will want to have. It's like a wand of lightning i guess i don't remember the graphic for this one so i give this to there we go yeah, oh stinking cloud like been meaning to learn that actually uh oh there's one step up that's three defensive spells okay fair enough okay she knows that ring of free action finally could have used this when uh like when i was like doing the freaking spiders <laughs> Hmm. This, I guess, are like eight, seven. Yeah, okay. So I still need to identify two things. What I guess my, my next rest is going to be that. There's also like a mage around here. Yeah, also means immunity to haste, but. Um, Hurry up! Since, uh, like. Uh, um, offensive spin is like an ability and not a spell, it, it, it shouldn't affect it, I think. Let me check. Oh, it does! Oh, wow. Huh. He's immune to everything magical and otherwise that infects mobility in any way. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, well, I, I can still like keep it for like the, the odd spider encounter or, like stupid what cleric that tries to root me. Your wish? Oh, there goes the ambassador. See, this is why I didn't pick the ambassador as like my up. fake identity. Oh, hi. Hello, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. What are you doing here? Get out of this building before I call the guards. I mean, answers me some questions. Okay, you're here to kill me, aren't you? You can't kill me. Do you know who I am? I'm Thaldorn, one of the leaders of the Iron Throne. I mean. Where can we find documents that will implicate your guy? Really? Is that a question that I need to ask? Please don't hurt me. You can find everything you need with the Altar. He's the true leader of the operation. He always carries everything on his person. Okay, where is he? The other leaders, Brunos and Realtar, they're at Candlekeep, attending business with some benefactors from the south. Will you let me go now? Yeah, you're free to go. What would you have me do? I care not. So let's see. Detect traps. I would like to know what happened between Baldur's Gate 2 and Throne of Baal. Where were the cult wizards with all the magic casting? Wait, Baldur's Gate 2 and Throne of Baal, or just like Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2? And yeah, I also I always kind of figured out like the cult wizards was kind of like a, an arm thing. 
so they, they wouldn't be like in Baldur's Gate. Okay, I guess no traps. Real tar. My superiors are intrigued by your proposal. Oh, shit. I would like to discuss it further, but not through correspondence such as this. The Harpers and Zens have been very active in this region of late. It would be very unfortunate if they tried to disrupt an alliance between our two organizations. If you, Brunos, and Thaldorn were to meet with us in the safety of Candlekeep, my superiors would be much relieved. Please send the response as soon as possible. Okay. Father, I have received your letter and I can assure you that the mercenaries led by Gregor will no longer trouble our operations. I have dealt with them personally. Before dying, they were most forthcoming in their revelations. It is as you had surmised. They were agents of the Zentarim. I am also writing to tell you that I cannot attend the meeting at Candlekeep. Some problems have arisen with the chill and the black talons. They have had trouble working with each other and I am needed there to smooth over any dissension. I am sorry that I will not be at your side. Ooh, sneaky liar bastard. <laughs> For shame. You didn't kill me, I think. <laughs> and this was one of those like, da -da 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 things that like, you're, you're dead now. <laughs> hmm. Probably not the case. We need to get rid of some potions though, to be honest. What did that note say something about the Zentarim? Yeah, um, that note was Sarevok lying through his teeth that he found us and killed us and that we were agents of the Zentarim. <laughs> Which is like big fat lies. Actually, like I, I, I don't think you ever meet you any people from the Zentarim. The I guess aside fist. from... Uh, um, What's it called? Aside from uh, Montaron and Tsar, I guess. And I, I never really like did anything with them. I always kind of like ditched them as soon as I got access to like Minsk or um, Ajantis, I guess, or Kivan. <laughs> I'm just an aide to Scar. His wish was that I keep an eye on you, though you seem more than capable of taking care of yourselves. I do think, however, that you will benefit from a visit with him. He should await you at the Flaming Fist headquarters to the southwest quadrant of town. Okay. I mean... Yes, why are you telling me? I've been there like three times already. <sighs> oh well. Okay, like, first of all, I kind of like need to go sell stuff. Before I do that. Because I think like the next quest um, um, what's it called the next quest is kind of like finding a book that's expensive enough to let you back into Candlekeep and then that whole thing with like the like Covera Cisarevok kind of thing happens and then it's like a bunch with all like the doppelgangers I guess uh, in the catacombs which is always like my favorite part of the game probably <laughs> Especially like lines like uh, like Do Doppelganger yes. Minster and Doppelganger Gorion, or like Doppelganger Winthorpe. Yes, yeah. The, the catacombs themselves aren't that great. I'll, I'll give you that. But like the the whole idea of fighting like duplicates of like major characters, that was kind of novel to me at the time. I mean, I was like 15 when I played that game for the first time, so. Uh. <laughs> That, that that might have also played a part in that. <laughs> uh boy. Stinking cloud, I need to learn. Oh yeah, I kind of need to get rid of a few like potions. Red, violet, sell those. Um I really need to be using all of these, damn it. Should like give this one to Khalid. Doppelganger agro sounds chill inducing. What that eh, kind of thing. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> mm. Just gonna sell all of these. Um, kind of keeping the freedom ones. Fire breath as well, since I have access to fireballs. <laughs> Oof. I'm sorry for doing that. Then <laughs> my my sincerest apologies. I did not mean to raise any hair. <laughs> 
that makes any sense. I need the cold resistance ones to be honest. Uh, mm, don't need the insulate. Actually, mm, I'm actually gonna keep the insulation ones. There's like a couple of places where like people are very trigger happy with like lightning traps and like lightning stuff uh, in general. So I'm gonna be skipping that. Uh, mirror image can go. I'm gonna like, get rid of like the the lobby spells, to be honest. Uh, kind of keeping protection, protection, protection. Uh, he has already known both casters, so that doesn't really matter. I guess I could like teach. Wouldn't that be a potion of grounding? Would it? So, which one was the insulation one then? Um, let me like mixing the resistances. No, this is like electrical uh, resist. See, I think the the cold one is like a portion of cold resistance. Let's see, it was like somewhere around here. I think I sold one uh, further up. Oh my god, this guy has so many things. Uh, cold re there we go. It's like a, the cold resistance one is actually like cold, cold resistance. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, insulation makes more sense to be the... Um, like the cold resist one, but for some reason it isn't. <laughs> I have no idea why, actually. Also, don't need all the stone form ones anymore, to be honest, so... Just like keeping the insulation ones in like... I'm just like going to be giving them to emo when, So in case I'm kind of dumb enough to step on a lightning trap, she doesn't like get one shot. <laughs> hmm. It's like that time you hear that click and you're like, oh, I done fucked up. <laughs> like a, a few antidotes. Let's be fine as well. Okay, let's see. Uh... Also need a few more uh, bullets for every one. Wait, I have like electricity, right? I can just give a couple of those to Branwen and these. Let's like stack this up. Especially if it's a tracking projectile. Yes. Like, I, I mean, like, all of the lightning bolt traps are kind of, like, tracking as far as I remember. Like, I, I, I don't, like, I, I always remember them kind of, like, pivoting to the character that triggered the trap. So, uh, this is, like, another reason that I have Emoen yeah, yeah, as, fellow. like, uh, um, uh, I gave the, like, post of the cheetah to Emoen. So, in, in case I trigger a trap and they can, like, realize fast enough, I kind of can, like run away a bit faster so I can like kind of like steer where it goes and it doesn't like one shot everyone else because <laughs> that kind of happened a lot hmm. well I mean that's kind of like the draw of the game too right um you you can kind of uh what's it called I forget what the name is you can kind of like use that to your advantage as well uh since uh hurry up actually I'm gonna go rest and save before that, Kixi Tavern, Elf Song. Okay, let's go to the Elf Song. Um, like, uh, you can also kind of like use that to your advantage with like some of the spellcasters in the game. Like, there, there's this like one spellcaster in, uh, what was it, like Firewine Bridge Ruins. She's like the, he's like the, the, the human caster that's with you the Ogre Mage in there. Me. And like, we actually fought him like two streams ago, I want to say. Um, and what I did is kind of like aggroed him, he started casting lightning bolt and then I just like went around the corner and he, he just like couldn't stop casting so it it hit the wall in front of him instead of going to me and it kind of like bounced back and killed him <laughs> which was kind of nice I guess like it's a I, I felt very clever incidentally at that point <laughs> I used to say without actually um Ah, stinking cloud. Damn it. Fine. I'm just like gonna remove what he looks and put in minor sequencer then. What would yep, you have shit. me do? Now I need to rest.
So I guess with minor sequencer you can either you some whiskey. Oh come on. You rang? I guess you can either just like um store defensive spells or just like try to get as much damage out as possible. Oh, and I don't have defensive spells. Why don't I have defensive spells though? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, because I don't have them memorized. Yeah, okay. GG. <laughs> Boy, that was fun. I mean, like a double melf isn't that bad. Your wish? It's like uh Oh, it's got, it's got like a spellcaster level increased by one. <laughs> uh -huh. Wild magic. Uh so that means let me try and remember what's like uh what does like melf do? It's 2d4 for every three levels for like one more round. So it's uh, she's like level seven, no six, seven. Okay, so it's like a Hurry three up. round, no two rounds, two d four for two rounds, or like two d four plus two d four more um, acid damage for two rounds. That's not like that shabby. I think I might like get more um, more out of like uh, magic missile times two. Especially if she gets like a, a wild magic surge that like gets more uh, uh, caster levels. Because that, that one's like one missile per two levels, right? Let's see. 1d4 plus 1. For every two extra levels, gains an additional missile. So it's like 4 and 4 is like 8. It's like 8d4 plus 8, I guess? 8d4 plus 8. That's like uh, potentially 32 plus 8, 40 damage. Mm. And this is... 2 rounds of 2d4. So it's like a 4d4, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I actually magic missile might be better. Or I could just like maybe sacrifice a slot of each and just like put in like horror and uh, sleep. Just like try to catch as many of those as possible. But then again, these aren't like particularly good at connecting with higher level enemies, which is kind of what we're going to be doing at the moment. Monsters with five hit dice or more are unaffected. Uh, same with horror, I guess. Oh, never mind. But there's like immunities there. Chromatic Orb? Uh, I, I actually never liked Chromatic Orb, to be honest. Uh, so let's see, 7th level. 1d10 and paralyzes the victim for 2 turns. I mean... 2d10 is still like 20 damage. And like a chance of... So spell plus 6. Ah, yeah, so it's kind of like a... Uh, hmm. So it's like very easy to to resist, I guess. Oh, the victim saves versus spell with a plus six bonus against all the effects and gets no save against the damage. That's like uh, 20 damage guaranteed then. This one is... Uh... I think this one is also guaranteed. It's like no saving throws. So that's like literally magic missile is like higher damage output. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I think I'm gonna um it's like the in here. We kind of like erect this in. Uh so over here I guess. Um so yeah, I probably think that like two times magic missile is like better overall. Oh well. I mean, unless. Hmm. I wonder if like burning arrow. 
uh, might also work. It's like a level two spell. Oh, never mind. No. Flame out. No flame. Not flame out. It's like a burning out of this level two, right? How come what I don't have, you have that? Me do? Stinking Cloud is level two. Stinking Cloud? Stinking Cloud might also be decent. Mm. It's kind of like a saving throw versus poison. So, like, the, the, the only ones that can actually, like, withstand it are, like, characters with high constitution. I mean, Stinking Cloud is usually decently good at like low constitution targets like mages and uh i guess thieves this is a good efficient way of getting rid of mirror image yeah i know that as well and also just like harassing uh enemies altogether or like finishing them off hmm. i mean a ganazar scorcher might also be decent A target will be hit by this flame for 3d6. Flame jet strikes a second time. Half is like, like 6d6. Um, there's like no saving throw. That's like 12d6 in like the two turns it takes to... Um, yeah, there's a lot of free fire resistance. That's true. Damn, that's like actually kind of like a puzzler here. <laughs> I'm like very annoyed that I don't know which like the best option is. Like, it, it kind of feels like clear clear cut like for best damage potential at least. Um, it would probably be like twice of like magic missile. One round to hit. Oh, three d six times two. Okay, that's like that's like like a literal like six d six, right? Like throw three six sided dice and then you throw them again. It's like six, uh, six sided die, right? Oh, or is it like you roll? Mm, I don't know how we, how it calculates that. Hmm. So acid arrow, confusion, flame arrow. There we go. That's three d six roll before resistance. Yeah, fair enough. So how about this? Spell enables the caster here. Fiery bolts at opponents within range. It bolts. Each bolt inflicts 1d6 of piercing damage plus 4d6 of fire damage. Only half the fire damage is inflicted if the creature strikes saves versus spell. So... That's like um, guaranteed 2d6 and like another potential for like 8d6. Like I'm just like talking like if, if we put them in the sequencer. That's why I'm like uh, doubling each uh, roll. Because like it's it's clearly gonna be like two of the same spell, right? If you're gonna go offensively, uh, there's like no sense in like splitting damage types all over the place. Um, each bolt inflicts one d6. So it's like guaranteed two d6, right? Yeah, I know it doesn't have to be the same spell, but I, I just like it's probably gonna be like one spell that kind of like outperforms the rest, and I'm gonna do like that twice. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's like, if I do 2 of Flame Arrow, it does 2d6. It's like 2 to 12 damage, plus another 8d6, which is a chance to save versus half. But then again, Fire Resist again kind of might negate that. Yeah, I think Magic Missile is probably the, the way to go. And so let me just identify this Wand of Heaven. This goes to... Oops. This goes to Jahira. And one of lightning goes to you. Aha. Your wish? I'm just like gonna rest and reset that. Wait, what? Oh. You won't that was weird. Risky. Can I like hit the UI there for whatever reason? What is it this time? Just like cast the sequencer again. Please get a level up. Oh. Oh, you cannot cast multiple instances of the same contingency? Wait, how do I dispel the previous one, though? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like through here. Nope. No. Hmm. That's so weird. 
So Hurry how up. do you get rid of it if you don't want it? You just like have to cast it? That's kind of annoying. Well, I guess we can do it like next time. Also, hey, TX! TX the Destroyer! <laughs> Should be able to click the spells out of the contingency spell in the spell book. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't let me for whatever reason. Like, regular click, right click. Nope. Like, what if I remove the sequencer from my spellbook? No, that doesn't work because what you get like you another one do? if you rest anyway. So it's not like whatever you have that memorized at the time kind of affects the rest of it. Okay. Uh, so where's... Uh... Your wish? Oh, there we go. Hi. Where did I have right click the spell in the special ability? You uh, rang? Nope. <laughs> Just come up, comes up with a description. <laughs> uh, yes. Mm. Hurry up! That's so weird. Greetings, taxpayers. Greetings, taxpayers. Oh Commander wow! Of the Don't remember this fist. line. So, what have you learned so far? Mm -hmm. Yep. No, there's a way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's like a way, but I'm probably not thinking about it at the moment. Then there is but one thing to do. Travel to Candlekeep and learn what you're doing there. Whatever it is, it can bode well for the fortunes of the city. Take this book. Without it, the Keeper of the Portal won't allow you entrance into the library. Here also is the reward money that I had promised you. Yay. Your journey has come full circle. Yep. Duke Elton has asked that you travel back to Candlekeep, where you must spy upon the leaders of the Iron Throne. While it troubles you that such evil men now make use of the great library, and you wish the circumstances of your visit would be different, it will still be a pleasure to return to your former home. Yes, it will. Done. <clears throat> what would you have your wish? I really hate that the game kind of like teleports you back to uh, Baldur's Gate once like this is triggered. I mean, it could have just, like, let me travel here on my own. I still need to go do Durlax Tower as well. Ah, see, this is this is why, can like, the Candlekeep catacombs are not, like, the worst place in the game for me. It's because, like, Durlax Tower exists. I hate that place. I, I only ever, like, cleared it, like, once. Hold, travelers! Well, Before you will be allowed entrance, you must donate a tome of great value to our libraries. Okay. You have met the requirements to gain entry to our most holy library. It is fine to see the child of Gorion once again within these hallowed grounds. Please have your less civilized friends refrain from well, refrain from causing trouble. We are very strict with the letter of the now, as you well know, Rhaegor. <laughs> um, rude. I don't remember, like, in your, in, in, like, your return to Candlekeep, are there, like, any new quests and stuff that you can do? Like, very, very hazy on this part of the game. Actually, I think it's just, like, the same map, right? So, it shouldn't have, you know, differences. Aside from, like, a couple of NPCs here and there, probably. I know that Flidia is no longer here. And, like, Drebin, I think, as well. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Drepin is here. Does he have, like, different dialogue? What do you need? Gregor, I didn't think you were ever coming back. What's it like out there? I mean, it's big. I don't know how else to put it. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Come on. 
Christo Fogman, like a bunch of dead cats. Not quite as much help as I thought. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Doppelganger. What are you doing to that cat? It died and I'm studying it. I mean... What is there to study? The bones, the muscle structure, the shape of it, how its fur lies, where its ears are placed, the length of its whiskers, the sharpness of its teeth. I must know it all, you care. I mean, why would you need to know that? Must you pry so hard, you meddlesome brat? Tss, forget the plan. I'll taste you now, I will, and study your dead flesh as I do the cut. Um, you might want to mute your uh, audio for this next uh, half a minute, I guess. <laughs> It's like a greater one. No, it's like a regular one. Hurry up! What is your command? Oh shit! What? Oh no! Minor sequencer failed. <laughs> what would you oh wow! It actually blinded Mira. <laughs> I didn't think that the sequencer could have been, like, you know, uh, wild surged, I guess. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It was like, you get like three times the unreliability. And to get the wild surge, but it cannot double it. Really? Oh, that's, story that's, about like, trollops and tails. that's like literally the, the only fun thing that like, wild surge can do. I mean, uh, unless you're actually like keen to morph your spell into like a random fireball or something <laughs> in the middle of the party. Like, it, it has happened to me that. Um, it was like I don't remember. It was like I think it was like in the first hour that I had gotten Nira. Uh, I, I I tried to yeah. Now I can resequence, but I actually kind of uh -huh. need to rest because I kind of like used my Hurry second up. sequencer by accident. I kind of like need to my rest first. As clean as an elven ah, now there's your Abscalion. Set on the little wisp now and make every bolt count. Winthrop, you old fool! If I had an arrow for any one of these practicals jokes you've played on me, I'd, I'd, I don't know, I'd have a lot of arrows. <laughs> uh, yep. Rest. You close your eyes oh, tonight, come on, and visions of candle keep swim into view. Yes, that, that, that's what I was going to say. The um, Citadel, there is a flash I, of I memory. I think I tried you to are cast a child like of only black a few on the party, seasons once more. And it at your ended up morphing into fireballs, hair, like one shooting half, all those years ago. half my party at like How level old must he have been to age five or something, so I want to say. In the time since, <laughs> aged as he funny. ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrant, the keeper of the tomes. An important meeting about you. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the inner keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion seldom raised his voice, though you did not care to listen to the discussions at your previous stops either. As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water, and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The doors of the keep suddenly swing open, and Ulrunt storms out. He glances at you for a moment, but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers. But mark my words, that child will be the death of you. A flash of memory once more. And Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone, but your own image remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, 
predictably unrested. So it's kind of nice if you like actually pay attention to the like dream sequence interludes. Um, you, you like definitely getting spoiled. Ooh, drop on holy mine. What mind. would you have yeah. me do? Because like we're playing like a Your good wish? character. That's right. Um, what is it this time? Okay, let's not get the uh, the double uh, magic missile sequencer. Wait. Cannot cast multiple instances of the same contingency spell on yourself. Wait, what? What? How did... What? <laughs> did it not count as triggered because I it did like up. a wild surge? <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. <laughs> my hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Okay. I mean, I, I guess I Why can't get rid of that yet. Hammer. So, I always did I want to, like, go so and, like, to go. pick some locks around here. Okay, not like this one. It's like a cobble. There we go. That's like, I, as far as I remember, like most of them don't really have anything particularly useful. Hey, Posh, welcome back. I think. Hopefully the bedtime tea is done. Or like pre-bedtime tea, I guess. <laughs> What would you have oh, like do? no, wait. Uh, you did say that you were like already in bed when I when we like joined the chat. Hmm, my bad. Uh. So yeah, I I I guess if you're uh... oh, are you chim? That's new. Um. I guess if you trigger like a, a spell search, you, you don't actually use up your sequencer. Now there's a face I never thought I'd see again in a million years. When we heard about Gorion's passing, Fuller and I went out to gather his body, but you were nowhere to be seen. Jane, the bedtime story. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what you two came across that night, but Gorion died a noble death saving you from it. Uh, Thank you for taking care of his remains. Hal. I look forward to it, kid. Like how like all, all, all my all my dialogue yeah, is not like more weary and you know grizzled. Your Even wish. though I've like technically only been gone for like a couple of months. Uh, slightly more because mm -hmm. I've like spammed resting all the time. Oh Gregor, I heard you had returned. If only it weren't in such dark times. Something is afoot in candle keep. There's an unvoiced panic among those of us who still call this haunted halls our home. You must help us, I pray you. Anything, dear Parda. Uh -huh. How? How? If only I knew. Go around. Search about. You have been away for a time. Perhaps your eyes will see things that we cannot. We have been here too long. We are blind to the malignancies that have crept up so slowly and absorbed themselves into our gaze. But they are there. My eyes can't see them. My ears can't hear them. But all that is me screams in the knowledge that they are there. Now hush. No one must know that we've been talking. <laughs> yeah. Or like hell not even spells like like literally like the, the the dice rolls that you can now do for each attack probably like kill him in one shot i was like gonna like try that actually uh, hurry up let's do like this oh yep 13 slashing is like more than half his health okay I mean, I guess we can Our probably get like an achievement out of the way as, as, as well. Like tag another one. Hey, go Ryan, what have none of us? It is shameful. <laughs> I'm a villain now. Now I'm. I, I I never actually managed to play with like a a very low reputation. I always like hated it. And not just because you get like penalties in buying stuff and just like get constantly harassed by the uh, what do they call like the, the flaming fist. 
Uh, but I don't know, it just like doesn't fit like in lore. Like in, in, in Baldur's Gate 2, they did like a whole lot better with kind of having options for both sides of the alignment. But in Baldur's Gate 1, it, it always felt like the, the correct way to play was like be uh, kind of like a good alliance uh, alignment. Alliance? Okay, that was weird. Well, I'll be. If, if that isn't someone with a tale to tell, I don't know who is. Oh, if that isn't someone with a tale to tell, I don't know who is. What have you been up to this past while? Basically, was the only way. Yeah, I mean, you, just like if you go like beyond, b below like seven or eight reputation, you start just like getting constantly harassed by uh, like, I serve the flaming fist, <laughs> and you started getting like pricier and pricier items up until like a, at a certain point you would no longer be able to. Yeah, shopkeepers wouldn't buy with you if you had like bad reputation. You're a queer fellow. And like for what? For the for the privilege of adding like Viconia in your party or Edwin? What eh. would you have me do? Never did like those characters anyway. I mean, I, I do guess that the like another way you can kind of tell Salutations. Uh, I am Catterly, a visitor of Candlekeep, like yourselves. Blah blah blah. Pardon if I seem out of sorts, but the journey has been long and treacherous, and my labors age me so. Uh, my name is Gregor. I see. Well, as it turns out, I have met you previously. Your manner has turned out far different than I would have guessed, however. I was acquainted with your foster father, as were many others, and visited him here a number of times while you grew up. His death has been mourned across the coast, and you should do well to represent his spirit in a better fashion. Treating people with respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a good alignment characters would abandon you. I mean, I'm not actually sure if there's like enough evil party members in base Baldur's Gate to like go around with. I guess you can get like Viconia as a cleric. You can get like Edwin as a mage. You can probably get Tiax. Um, was that like other dwarf in Beregos that's also evil? Um, I like forget his name. Hold on, I have his quest though. I can like talk to him. Kagein. Yeah, that's him as well. That is like a, I think that's probably like barely enough to get like a full like functional party. <laughs> Ready foster your inner murder hobo. <laughs> I mean, that's like certainly one way to play this. Although probably like uh, the, the game that maybe did that for me was probably something like Fallout, uh, more than Baldur's Gate, because you know it was like the the whole post-apocalyptic thing. So the game, I guess, kind of justified more readily stuff that you did in that one, because you didn't have like reputation to worry about or alignment and so on and so forth. Come on, mages condescending to the ball spawn. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's something too. Something on your mind? Something on your mind? Mm. Shoo, don't talk to me. Gregor, my child, look at you. Your face has gained some new lines since the days when I tutored you. Strange above the library, huh? Why, yes, that is just the word I would have used for that Coveras fellow. Gee, I wonder who that Coveras fellow is. He sounds important. <laughs> and totally not an anagram for something. He was right here beside me, 
taking along those prophecies from their place on the shelf and reading them. I could hear his voice, recognize the serious word upon his quiet breath, but when I turned to steal a glance at him from the corner of my eye, it was the strangest thing. His eyes were closed and he was reciting page after page as if from memory. He heard your footsteps, it seems, and wandered off. I was just returning the prophets to the rightful place. It might be wise to take a look. This Coveras is dangerous, though. I'm afraid I'm too old and bookish to be more than a hindrance. Huh. I don't really, like, need to read those, though. Kind of, like, remember what they are more or less about. I think you can probably, like, listen to a few of them if, uh... Better? Wait, what? I don't remember this. During the days of the avatars, a lot of murder was... Oh, yeah, that's, like, the one of the uh, prophecies. God damn, it's fair to be Your wish? That sucks. The Lord of Murder shall perish. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's kind of like a memorable thing. I think they... I think they probably kind of, like, toned it down for the Enhanced Edition. Because, like, the... Like, like, the Keeper of the East, Keeper of the West, those guys, like, like in, 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 like, the tutorial part of Candle Keep, they don't really, like, spam those voice lines as often as I remember them doing. These walls uh, contain the world. Yeah, this to be super loud, that's it. Well, dip me in broth and call me stewed if it isn't little Gregor. Why, well, I haven't seen you for nearly, um, quite some time. I still remember you running about the keep in your little swaddling clothes, pestering the elders and spooking the cows. Ain't that right, Jessup? Surely was. Yes, of course. You never did stay in those ranks for long. Yes, I remember, but have you been? You'd be naked as a jaybird the moment someone turned their back on you. I remember the day that fella Blackstaff came floating in there, and there you were, tearing around the other keep with Gorion hot on your tail. Took the cloak right off his back, you did, and made yourself just the cutest little... <laughs> hmm. Go play with your friends now, really? Yeah, I'm kind of like getting like a scratchy voice here, so I'm not gonna be reading all of the voice lines. <clears throat> or like the all of the dialogue, sorry. Mm. I don't know why, it's like a very. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. <coughs> there we go. It, it, it's as if uh, my. My, my voice has kind of like become tired from reading what's like basically a book's worth of uh, <laughs> of text. Ooh, actually, if, if Baldur's Gate do does this to me, I kind of like wonder what will happen when like I get around to finishing Painscape on stream. Hmm. That's gonna be fun. Or not. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Gregor. It is good to see you here once again. A pity you couldn't have returned to a more, more restful time. Oh, it's nothing, I'm sure. It's just that, well, things just seem a little strange around here. Those decidedly unmerchant like merchants, for one. <laughs> and some of our own monks are acting well as well. One fellow in particular. Uh, there is that fellow of, named Coveras. Uh-huh. Young Shistal has been out of sorts for days. He's not as thick-skinned as I. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that uh, might be. You need something, stranger? Nope. 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 God damn it. Ah, oh, I thought I might find you somewhere around here. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Coveras. I used to work for your father running messages to his Harper friends in Waterdeep. Yeah, sure. Huh. And what evil befell him? You were there. You saw it all. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Yeah, this is like totally not Sarevok, right? <laughs> a woman, an armored figure, two ogres wielding clubs and two archers, but Gorion's petty magic was of little use against them, was it not? Yeah, yeah. In the year of the turrets, a group. Um, as far as I remember, he tries to like pawn off a ring on you, and if you actually wear it, it's kind of like cursed. If I'm not mistaken, right? Takes a lot of energy to talk. Yeah. The I mean, Lord of murder shall perish. Oh my God! But in his doom, he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos will be sown from their passage. So saith the wise Alondo. Yep. <sighs> I am growing old and the young are not so young anymore. Not so care not the carefree so carefree. Alondo the seer, the one who founded the fortress of knowledge and whose prophecies I chant each day, he is entombed deep in the bowels of this place. I tell you this, Gregor, because you're right. It is time you knew. But I beg of you, in Gorion's name, do not venture into those trapped and warded halls unless some higher power than myself bids you go. Your stepfather would never forgive me for your loss. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, I mean, I just like generally kind of like manage that, but not just like reading all the time. Because I usually just like stream for like maybe two and a half to three hours per stream. Um, which actually means we've been at this game for like a few weeks now <laughs> uh, I'm not actually gonna like look through all of these I'm, like bored at the moment eh. no, maybe I should I mean, there's like a lot of spells that you could get around here <sighs> but you know like uh, specifically these games have like a lot of text packed in so it, it kind of like strains it a bit more than like your average game would like for example if i were streaming something like say Pal of exile um there is like a lot to talk about in that game but it's mostly like why i decided to use like a specific skill or like haha check out this fat loot that i um i just like got <laughs> of knowledge, yeah. I mean, everyone has their own priorities, right? <laughs> Oof. My dear ma'am, you must realize that it is manners that make the gentle one, so would you kindly prove that you are one by leaving? The right people can afford to be rude, but this is not you. Leave now, before my right companion Bruno's lets his temper get ahead of reason. Uh... We'll be on our way. So I don't actually want to engage with them because you don't actually get to fight fight them anyway. He, um, if you if you're like confrontational, he kind of like says, "Ha ha!" He's like, "We're we're guarded in here, so you can't actually do anything to us." Um, and then they kind of like get murdered. Look, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Leave me, stranger. I have work to do. You not recognize me? Huh. <laughs> um, certainly. Gregor, I did not recognize your face. My apologies. I trust your journeys have been comfortable. The Clockwood can't be cold this time of year. How did you know I had gone to the Clockwood? Haha. <laughs> Uh, I have relatives in the region. Yes, that must have seen you and sent a note of your progress. Shistan, you never had... Uh... We are estranged and do not see each other often. There was no need to mention it. I really should be going. Nope. You would do well to leave me be. I tire of this game. Take your questions and go away, monkey. Oh, I have many questions. Who are you? I am your death, foolish meat. Yep. Oh, the, the, this one's like Hurry actually up. greater one. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> well, kind of hoping like spell sequencer doesn't backfire here. Do? Oh, we didn't. Awesome. That's nice. So now I can finally do that thing. It's like anyone wants to help me. Like the freaking traitor doppelganger that's trying to slash me open. Like you. Priests. 
Damn, the AI in this game kind of sucks. Kind of. <laughs> Understatement of the year. It's like majorly been my my biggest issue with the enhanced edition. They, I assume at least they could have fixed the pathfinding, but they didn't. It's like so annoying. Our library oh, is a man's no. harem of knowledge. Yep. Gregor, good to see you. I trust you are well. Uh, that can be expected. Oh, I pine for the days when you and Gorion still called Candlekeep home. You brought a bit of energy to these walls. I should have you speak. I, I should have to speak with you later at length. But for now, you must rest. Gorion's old room is in the third. Is the third on the south corridor, just as it was. I think there are a few things for you there as well. Special D. Oh, serve the flaming fist. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically it's like a, a a few things here for us, but I also think they're trapped. Hurry up! Yep. Actually, or maybe not. I don't know. They, they might be. They're not. They're not. Oh wait, no. Like third one is like this one, right? Two, 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 two. Oh, well, I guess they're not trapped either. Aha, scroll from Gorion. Hello, Gregor. If you are reading this, it means I have met an untimely death. I would tell you not to grieve for me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. <laughs> Aw. There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might have told you sooner. However, if my death came too soon, then I would never have been given the chance. First off, I am not your biological father, for that distinction lies with the entity known as Baal. <gasps> The ball that I speak of is the one you know as a divinity. In the crisis known as the time of troubles, when the gods got Firun, Firun, Farun? I don't remember how it's pronounced. <laughs> Baal was also forced into a mortal shell. He was somewhat forewarned of the death that awaited him during this time. For reasons unknown to me, he sought out women of every race and forced himself upon them. Your mother was one of those women, as you know. She died in childbirth. I have been her friend and on occasion lover. I felt obliged to raise you as my own. I've always thought of you as my child, and I hope you still think of me as your father. Ferun. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, you are a special child. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. If you make if you make use of our extensive library, you will find that our founder Alondo has many prophecies concerning, concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. There are many who will want to use you for their own purposes. One, a man who calls himself Sarevok, is the worst danger. He has studied here at Candlekeep and thus knows a great deal about your history and who you are. Huh, cool story, Dad. I mean, not my hashtag, not my real dad. I don't know. <laughs> Just need to do some fast housekeeping here. Yep, container is full. Again. What would you have me do? Oh. It's kind of surprising to me that. Um, I care not. Like, on, on every other occasion that you pick up a... Um, um, what's it called? On a, like, on every single other occasion where you pick up, like, a scroll that kind of, like, has plot in it. Like, after you kill Transig or Tazok or Mulahey, uh, and you get, like, scrolls out of their chests or whatever, you kind of, like, get a small um, text thingy showing. But in, in just like this one case, you, you you don't actually get anything for whatever reason. It's like a cloak. I don't need that. Cloak of protection plus one. So I can use it. No one. So this is like one of the um, <laughs> You're a queer good fellow. things that they did with the enhanced edition. Um, whenever I I have an item on my cursor, if someone can actually use it, like for example, protection from evil, which I can learn, uh, it will yellow out their portrait so that you know that it's something that can Hurry be up! beneficial to that character. It's like kind of like the same with items. Like the, the reason I know I can't use the cloak with anyone is because everyone's kind of like grayed out, which means they have some other equivalent weapon or like want? sorry. Uh, some other equivalent piece of armor that gives them the same protection and for whatever reason this game doesn't allow you to stack those 
which I guess is probably smart, um, considering you could have like plus four or something to all your uh, AC if, if you have like two rings, uh, an amulet, and like a cloak. What would you have me do? So you can actually stack those to get like Our four rules times the, are very the benefit. Wait, what? Oh yeah, there we go. You there, stop and surrender yourself. You are accused of murdering the men Brunos Kostak, Thaldon Te Tenhevich, and Real Taranchev. If you give yourself up now, you'll be assured a fair trial. Okay, I didn't murder anyone, jerk. I'm glad you still have some of the sense grind taught you. Please follow me. I'm sure everything will be sorted out quickly. <laughs> yeah, drape five cloaks on yourself. Just like... <laughs> ah, yes. So it's like... Um, Al Alrond, I guess, is gonna come in. No, it's like he's... He's... Uh, yeah. So, Gregor, you have sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a peace that have lasted for centuries. I speed on you and all your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the more severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Brunos Kostag and Real Taranchev. I mean, I have done nothing wrong. You are seen fleeing the side of the murder by the guest known as Coveras. From everything we have seen and found, it is not hard to figure out what your purpose was. From what I have been told, you have been trying to place all the misfortune of the South Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume you and your friends are assassins in the employ of Am. Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before an Amnian invasion. It matters little. You and your friends are to be sent to Baldur's Gate when an appropriate punishment will be administered. So yeah, um, this guy is kind of like predisposed against us. Um, you don't like, um, yeah, there we go. His understudy, Tethoril comes. Um, Basically, um, the game doesn't ever actually tell you this, but if you if you read the manual for like the the original version of Baldur's Gate, there's also kind of like a few character bios in there, and it, it says that uh, um, Ulrond, which is actually the leader of Candlekeep, is kind of like more prideful and like slightly lower in intelligence than. than Tethtoril, which is kind of like his second in command. And it's actually Tethtoril that kind of like leads the whole place, kind of like from the shadows and stuff like that. So this is why the other guy is kind of like very, uh, I accuse you without having any info. A player quest back in the day? No. Like internet connections around here weren't like very, very good at the time. So MMOs were kind of like a big no-no for us. Um... I did try a bit of Meridian 59, which was, I think, my first MMO. And I also played like a bunch of mods because those like didn't really require that much of an internet connection to begin with. <laughs> like in comparison to EverQuest. Um, yeah, there was no such thing as a good internet connection. It was like a 28k and then kind of like a... <laughs> like a modem sounds trying to connect to the phone line <laughs> uh, but yeah I, I never, I never really like got on the everquest bandwagon or the ultima online one for that matter i always kind of like regretted it they seemed like very like they, they seemed like the, they were the world of warcrafts of their time i guess so let's see hello young one i am sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Alrond would most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There, thou wouldst receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Gorion would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. Try a few months? <laughs> Tis a favor to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs be beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Okay, do you not cover us? Ha! Ha ha ha. I know of no one named Coveras, but Coveras is the reverse of Sarevok. Oh no, no one saw that coming. <laughs> There's some lore share between Baldur's Gate and EverQuest? Really? Okay, that's interesting.
Okay, teleport us, thank you. Aha. The only safe room in this dungeon. Hmm. It's gonna be fun. Or not. I like that the game also kind of like gives you like a bunch of different scrolls just in case you kind of like need the You're extra with? assistance so let's see the door leads back to the upper level of the key from the looks of it is heavily worded luckily tethorial teleported you past such an obstacle common sense dictate you make your escape through the opposite door hint hint wink wink nudge nudge I mean, Shadow Door and Confusion might be good on Nira. Fortunately, I can't store anything in here anymore. Screw that. This can go to Nira. I'm uh, actually keeping these just in case. I, I gonna a Scorcher. Hey, he gonna get some sleep. Thanks for the quality do? entertainment. Hey, also thank you for the follow. I, I don't know about quality yeah. entertainment, but... Uh, um, thanks for following. Hope you were like decently entertained and have a very pleasant evening. While I Your wish? most likely I die constantly to Hurry all the traps up. and stuff down here. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Uh -oh. Yep, yep, yep. There she is. What would you have me do? Hello there. Hello. My book. You stole my book. You care. <laughs> No, they're not, they're not actually doing their like their like high pitched yell. Do are you want to tell me a story about trollops and plug tails, please? Is this really the place to be asking for tales? Your wish? I know nothing more, so leave me to go. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, well, okay, I'm, I'm like, lesson learned. I'm gonna take it like awaits. a bit slower in, <laughs> in these corridors. <laughs> I'm like, there, there really can't be like a trap like this close to the entryway, right? It's gonna be like a, a bit further in. Good on you if you save the day. Also, she's like very, very slow at like discovering these traps, which kind of sucks. Because it, it, it it's kind of like meant to take like a turn or two, so which is, I think is like six rounds. No, hold on. It takes a round, it checks every round, so that means like six turns, that's around like half a minute, I think. It's gonna be another doppelganger. No, hold on, it's like a slime in here, Seldom I think. do I find so little fault with someone. I hope oh. it lost. Ah, ha, ha. see, one, two, three. There's like also 40 XP, which means like, like level four spells. I want to say it was like, uh, uh, like three fireballs or something. <laughs> But I, I don't really I am proud want to, to test stand it. Among such yeah, I didn't detect that either. God damn it. Uh, and she's encumbered as well because that tomb weighs like 25. No. Oh well. Ring of fire resistance, but her list has passport. Huh. Okay, that's good. I guess this is like the I think this is like the constitution tome. Understanding, wisdom. You know what? I'm just like gonna stack everything on the protagonist. I don't care. I just like I'm gonna take mana away his advice. <laughs> just like stack everything on Hurry the main up. character and be like, screw it. That's fine. It's gonna be the, the, the cleverest person in the entire realms. With like 11 wisdom. <laughs> Back home, Puff Guts mm. would always tell me a story. So clever. So so wise. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. <laughs> so wisdom was. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. There's like one word for it. <laughs> wisdom was. I like the sound of that. This is like just the, the right like balance between trying to sound clever and like totally screwing it up. Beware, I am one of the most wisdomous people of all the realms. 
Okay, this time we were in range to disarm the trap. It's like locked. See, this is what I've been building Imo went up to. She's like basically been... I've uh, basically like been leveling her to... To be, to be able to have access to everything in this dungeon. It's like lockpick the, the crab out of everything, more or less. It's kind of nice. And we're gonna get a bunch of different loot. Oh, I, I, I do need to be careful because still find traps is kind of like a slow thing. There's gonna be like one in here as well. What you want? I would like for you to detect traps faster. So There's gonna be like another one as well. I'm pretty sure. See? See? I knew it. I called it. I remember it. Something. Something. I don't actually remember where this side ends up. Oh, no. I, I remember. It's like a big room and it's like a huge fight. Some like spell casting idiots that are going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Hmm. Yeah, I remember. I think. There's like one of those opens up into like one of like a big big room. I think. Might be wrong actually. Also I need a haircut. That's like a totally different subject. <laughs> but you know, lockdown and all I the, the... There's something most unnatural yeah, here. Yeah, and something most unnatural. I want no part of it. Um actually like all of the like barbers in Cyprus are kind of like on um closed at the moment because of the lockdown, so you know. It's gonna be another couple of weeks before I can get my hair cut. Maybe I should like just consider just like, getting one of those uh, headbands. <laughs> so I kind of wonder, is it maybe worth it to memorize find traps with Nira and have her try to detect all of these instead? There's like definitely like one more trap on the sarcophagus and maybe one more in the entrance. Hmm. Yes, no. Maybe. Ah, it's kind of like a dead giveaway, right? There's definitely gonna be traps here. No? Wow. That's uh, interesting, I guess. Huh. I was almost certain there were going to be traps there. Aha! What be this? This be trap. So I think the next one is somewhere around there. Uh, here? No? A bit further in. Oh, there we go. Yep, face spiders. Zarm this and just like run the hell away. Because I hope it doesn't catch up with me. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Uh, run away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Oh no, I hope it doesn't catch up with me. I'm all alone. I don't even have any friends to help me. <laughs> Gee, whatever will I do? Yep. I'm going what would you like have me do? By temper shield! Your wish? Come on, hit it, attack oh, it, kill it. Shit. You've a task? No, she got poisoned. Damn it. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Damn it, damn it, damn what it, is your damn kind? it, damn it. I feel so cold. Hello? And now Bran went poisoned. Whole story. What is it this time? 
What you want? By temper shield. Nature servant awaits. So the problem with like these poisons, they're kind of like super fast acting. It's like, see, there we go. What would you have like basically went all the way down to 19 until Jahira could cast something again. Yes, oh. An open wound in Mother Earth. It's like so I would it had I the power. Not like basically get hit by those, you get taken down way too much. Yep. I'm gonna try like uh, You've a task. Hello. luring the next one a bit Nature further. Servant but... awaits. Oh, you know, actually I can probably like, cast the dryer and like, get mass cured. Mass cured. I care not. Yes, you do. Don't lie. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Lovely. Okay, that's good. I think it's like one more, and there's like maybe also. Oh, shit. Is it so maybe like a sword? No. Face, face. Uh -uh. No, don't pull all of them. Don't pull all of them. One at a time is fine. One at a time is fine. Come on. What the? I'm just like interrupting its cast now. It's just like jumping very... I was like uh, um, jumping very short ranges for whatever reason. Hurry up! Oh my god, I hate the sound that these spiders make. Do you want to tell me a story about trollops and plug <sighs> tails? Please? What would you have me do? I wonder why it's not like teleporting any faster. Hurry up! Okay, I was fine. I know Let's nothing more, so leave Ugh. me to go. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Good on you if you save the day. But yeah, these things are like so annoying. They can, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's it just like so much trouble just like dealing with them wait attacks Jahira what the f what would you have me do how did like one of them make it all the yes, way to here yes oh omnipresent authority figure and like that as well no wish no no oh no god damn it I mean it's a good thing that I, <laughs> I brought a few um Antidotes. Okay, drink. Right. Back home, Puffguts would always tell me a There's story. Like four of them, I think. So probably like th th this is gonna be the last one. I can actually, you know, aggro it. Hmm. No! Out of its range! Out of its range! Till it's dead. Although... <laughs> I didn't realize, but like, if, if, if you get like a few decent hits in, it's actually like very good at like, hiding the damn thing. Hmm. I mean, I, I can get behind that totally. Um, instead of like having to worry about everyone getting poison. I think this leads to like a, another part of the keep. Yep, of the catacombs, not keep, damn it. And again, another trap. Oh, game. You naughty thing. That's like a really quarry. Never mind. It's another like room full of loot. I think the like the the, the little like rhombus tile here. Oh, never mind. This was a trap. It's also locked. A hole that is locked. 
somehow. Uh, no, I'm slowed. Such a shame. So I guess this one is the Tome of um, Constitution. I know you can get like wisdom, strength, and constitution down here as far as I remember. Character is too far away. Okay, I need to identify that. Yeah, strength. Okay. Let's gonna use this. Hurry up! Quick like. Give these to Gregor. Put these in the satchel. Plus two armor class. Wait, no one can actually use it? That's so weird. Oh, okay, they've got like the... Okay, what do they have? I guess it's probably the helmet for uh, Branwen. Like Ring of Protection plus two might also work, but then I was like removing the. Oh, okay, so now I can do this. Mm -hmm. Let's like put this in here, give the cloak to. I don't know, you. I'm just gonna save before I do the other ones. And one what out of would three isn't too bad. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Let's go check this side as well, really fast. Hope for the best, <laughs> and hope I don't trigger many traps. <laughs> That's like the the best case scenario. Don't trigger too many traps. <laughs> Probably gonna be like one in the entrance here. Gust. You ghastly gust. I mean, damn, fire arrows sure seem to be working like pretty good. It's like nine missile damage and five fire damage. <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense because, you know, um, this fire arrow is also like plus two. So, you know, kind of makes sense. There's like no loot in here. Boo. I wonder if I'm this dungeon isn't what it was uh, supposed to be. <laughs> Wish? Yeah, I might as well just, you know, bring the rest of the party here. Just in case any more gusts think of doing anything untoward. Like attacking me. Hurry up! Yep. And paying for it. Oh boy. Oh, there's like so many of them. You Whatever ready? will I do? Nira, can I the... help you? Wow. Uh -huh. They're already here. In what would you have me do? Got nauseated. I care not. That sucks. Mm. Your wish? It's like so annoying. Like pathfinding is such a an issue in this game. Especially when you want characters to move and they just like 
freak out because someone is standing in front of them. <laughs> You're or like the, the wind is blowing in like a funny direction. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. Hurry up! What you want? Yep. Bunch of things. Cannot give item. Inventory is full. Uh. These are probably need to get rid of these as well. should really consider um, selling a few scrolls here and there or just like maybe using them <laughs> you know just in case Yeah, sorry about this. I'm just like tidying up a little bit. It's annoying, I know. But then again, there's not like much that I can do. Kind of like need to move things around a little bit. That's like the optimal way of doing that. What yeah, I guess we don't do? like the first part of the catacombs then. Like, n none the worse for wear, I guess. Slightly. So I think the catacombs are like three parts, I want to say, or maybe four. Um, there's like spider, there's like undead, there's a whole bunch of doppelgangers after a certain point of the game. It's all fun. <laughs> Except when it isn't. <laughs> what do you need? Yep. Like dripping. Poisonessa, have you? And to think I would have left this kid with the likes of you. Ah, flesh link. Mm-hmm. Hurry up! I care not. Hey yeah. I think this is also like the the floor where like Elminster's doppelganger is. And the problem is that, like, hey, for yeah. the higher level characters, doppelgangers are also greater doppelgangers, unfortunately. Thought you could take me on, did you? Try me now, Twerp, and we see who comes out the better. What would you have me do? Your wish? Hurry up! What would you have me do? <laughs> You're a queer hmm. fellow. So here's like the, the thousand dollar question, right? Can I actually rest in this place? Kind of wondering or I'm gonna get like press ganged by like a million different doppelgangers if I do. Hmm. There are so Your many wish? places I would Do you want to tell be. me a story about trollops and plug tails? Me. Hey, Mammoth, welcome. How's it going? How are we doing tonight? Nope. So it's like doppelganger Hurry up! Here. Stole Hall special elixir, did you? And fed it to the cows, no less. You rue the day you even met me, Gregor. I'm okay. I'm just like slightly tired. Too. A bit too sleepy for my own um, like preferences. I know nothing. But other than that, so I'm. Leave me to go. Okay, I guess. There's like nothing here. I think Elminster is like on the other side. Or like the Elminster doppelganger, I guess. Something on your mind? Ah, ah, no. Something boy. on your mind? Something on your mind? This guy. 
dullard, insolent waif. I tried to instruct you, tried to make you wise, but it was like drawing compassion from a zent. You are nothing, child, and you will soon become much less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you have to do? I'm certain to die. Maybe you've attacked. Yeah, I mean, um, they, they are kind of like a threat to me at this point, like not a major one, but, you know. Um, still troublesome if I don't, you know, take care. Uh, so yeah, it's not like it's not like they're like total pushovers. Thankfully or unthankfully. Oh, skeletons, nice. I'll, like try and get Your wish? Oh, there's like so many of them. Hold what on. is it this time? Let's like go deal. This here would be a good point. Hurry up! You rang? Yep, there we go. What would you have me do, your wish? You have need of me? So I kind of seem Hurry to up. remember that there were like a bunch of traps somewhere in the middle. So I, I, I don't really want to, you know, go in there unless I have to. Back home, what would you have would me do? tell me a story. No, <laughs> don't You're step a on the middle. Uh, I'm like quite sure that it's like a trap somewhere in this place, like the, the middle part of the room. Your wish? And I would Hurry rather up. not to get it, to be honest. <laughs> what you want? Oh boy. Yep. Uh-huh. Come on. Mira. Help, help. Do your fireball thing. I care not. <laughs> I mean, you have to admit that like 6 versus 6 doesn't really seem to be working out for the bad guys either. <laughs> what would you have in your wish? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. So maybe this guy was just like, ah, fuck it. I'm just going to try like this and see what happens. Hurry up! Overpowered what adventurers. <laughs> Wait, what? Deeder and Arcanist. What would you have me do? I don't remember these two. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Oh. By the gods, that that thing was young Grepin. What's going on, Gregor? Obi asked us to search for you here, but but this is far more foul than any of his most fearsome illusions. That thing was a doppelganger, just like you. <laughs> really? It's a long story, Arcanis. Please, you have to help me get out of here and fast. Can I trust you? Aye, child. Trust me, you can. And Dither, too. I know not what assistance we can be of you except for strong arms and an eye for illusions. We shall see you to the end of this crypt, but not beyond, as we must bear witness to the horrors that befell this foul place. Your wish? Like, follow me? Hurry or? up! They just like randomly yep. wander about. Oh, yeah, they randomly wander about. Very helpful. What would you have me your wish? Uh, ooh. I care not. <laughs> wow, I was so close. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Jeez, I almost triggered Hurry that up. one. Whew. So see, I I I I did Do remember correctly that there were a few traps around here. What would you Wee, have me do? I know nothing more. Like so leave more me to go. Other. Yeah, see. Ah, uh, that's so cheeky. Your wish. So, in case anyone is wondering, these two, Dider and Arcanis, are you kind of. Fly, Moradin's hammer. Yeah, there we go. 
They're kind of like uh, characters away, from, um, from the tutorial. Spy, traitor, fight for the rats, will ye? Fickle as the wind ye are, fickle as the wind. We have a name for your type, rat bastard it is. Aye, rat bastards. And I've never known one I didn't hang with my own two hands. Um, so yeah, just like a small recap for Mammoth. Uh, we're at the part of the game where everyone is a doppelganger. Which is to say they're like shapeshifters that kind of look like characters from the tutorial. And these two, um, Dider and Arcanis, uh, are, uh, are originally members of the party that you join in the tutorial to see how party combat works. So there's like what one part of the tutorial do? in Candlekeep where it, it kind of like tells you, go join that party and huh, see how to combat like multiple you characters wish? at the same time. What you want? Oh. Okay, it's this guy as well. Hurry up! Seek my comfort, will you? Aye, I'll show you a sweet and silent corfall if you let me wasteling. And there's um, um, What would you have me do? Doppelgangers. <coughs> Shapeshifters. Yep. Also I have a sword for those. Just like yep. I remember that I I made Khalid keep the like the, the plus three versus shapeshifter thing. It's kind of funny I forgot that I was supposed to be you using wish? it. Whoops. Because that's kind of useful when you think about it. There's gonna be like one here too, right? I care not. I care not. I should have joined Shit. the army. No, no, no. Fuller. Hurry up. It's Fuller. I should have yes, joined the army. Fetch bolts, I said. I should have told you to lick my boots clean, you mound of flesh. <laughs> Good grief. Aww. Kali took mm, damage. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Okay, I think traps are kind of out of the way here. What you want? Still worried about like oh shit, yeah, there we go. Yes, there we go. It's like greater doppelgangers here. That sucks. Reveal your true nature, Doppelganger. You are no more an Elminster than I'm Driss the Drow. And Driss they are not, thank goodness. As for this ragtag group physique, think as I would let anyone duplicate without express permission. I have it copyrighted, thou must know. <laughs> yeah, what would you have me do? this is uh, slightly more dangerous than the ones I've been fighting so far. I'm like hoping that these guys what is it like, this time? Uh, draw some attention away from me while I oh, what now? Buff. Need your pantaloons pressed? Thy temper shield! Your wish? Hurry up! What would you have me do? Yep. Your wish? Hurry up! Okay, that's the two minor ones down, like the greater one left. Oh boy, and the greater one is also what like a spellcaster that kind of like Your wish? ruins it a bit for me. I don't even remember if there's like traps in there, but I uh, can't really do much you else. Rang? That sucks. Please. Awesome. Hurry up. I go all of his. What would you have me do? That was I care not. Quite well done actually. So yeah, I think it's like um There's like an Elminster greater doppelganger, there's like uh Your wish? a Gorion one, and I <laughs> think there's You're also a like a Tethoril one. If memory serves, and you can like fight them all back to back. Oh, there's like a wind for one as well. My hotel's as clean as an elf. What would you have me do? By your <laughs> command. This would be a good place for a hench. Kind of need some heals. Heals, heals, heals. Your wish? 
My hotel's as Hurry clean up. as an elven arse. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Come on. My hotel's as clean what as an elven tell me about arse. Your Lost your sense of humor, have ye? Aye, I've heard that what you've been telling all your little friends. That old Winthrop has a hankering for a little elven arse every now and then. <laughs> hmm. I mean, that's up to you, my dude. I don't care what kind of us you prefer. <laughs> so long as you're not like killing me in the process. Do you want to tell me a story about trollops and plug tails, please? please. Still a hoop shoot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, and thankfully the game doesn't really give you an opportunity to find out. <laughs> oh, greater? No, it's like regular ones. That's like the worst thing is like getting greater ones because those can also cast no spells. So you, you kind of like get into a lot more trouble just like dealing with all the shit that they can do. Can I help you? Hurry up! I mean, ideally, I, I would probably want to so rest, but uh, I'm fairly certain that if I try to rest around here, I'm just gonna get mobbed by a bunch of uh, doppelgangers. It's probably like one of those places where like, the encounter rate is set to like some impossibly high number. So it doesn't let you, you know, just rest after every Good couple of encounters that you do. Oh, lovely. What would you have me do? Back home, Puffcuts would always tell me a story. Hmm. Traps? Your wish? Pretty sure there should be Hello? Like, a few traps around here. If a tree falls I in the forest, see. I'll kill the bastard with done it. It's better to die on your feet than live on your knees. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Hurry up! That's perfect. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I'm sorry about that. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh what boy. What you want? Yeah, this is kind of like the rough part. Who are you? I've been expecting Sarevok, not some ragtag band. Yeah, the members of Sarevok's party. You're that Gregor, ain't ya? Don't know how you got out of the prison, don't much care either. You're trying to mess up Sarevok's plans. Well, don't count on succeeding. There's no way you'd be getting me or me boys. Don't think Sarevok would take too kindly if you showed up to mess with his plans in Baldur's Gate. There he is. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it when that happens. So, you might be wondering how that guy kind of like died. <laughs> he tried to cast lightning bolt on me and the thing with lightning bolt, it kind of bounces off of walls. So, if I just like take a step to the left inside the, the little corridor here, he doesn't cancel his cast because the AI is too dumb to do that. So he casts it, it tries to get to me, it finds a wall in the way and kind of like bounces back. And when there's like corridors like these narrow, you can just like let like lightning bolt do its job on its own. Just don't even bother. <laughs> uh, inventory is full. What a surprise. Prat. My schemes have come together in a most satisfying manner. The mercenaries who have plagued my every step are now imprisoned, accused with the murder of real Tar Brunos and Thaldorn. Learn as much as you can about the fate of the mercenaries and then meet me back at Baldur's Gate. I apologize for leaving you here alone, but it was necessary to return to the city so as to take Lyrta's position as chief of operators of her operations. If things proceed smoothly, I will be a grand duke within a few weeks. Yeah, good, good luck with that. Not while old Gregor is around. Haha. <laughs> Kind of like running out of space here. It's annoying. You have failed to copy the spell. Boo. I 
It is kind of annoying. Let's see. Has the plot taken yet? Hey, Nognir, welcome. How's it going? How are we doing tonight? I mean, it has reasonably um, expanded. <laughs> I'm still at the point where I'm like trying to escape Baldur's Gate though. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, too close, too close, too close. What would you have me do? Yep. You won't just leave the place. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I, I lost control of nearly everyone in this fight. That sucks so badly. Come on. There's like a 1 HP and I have no one that can cast any spells. <laughs> You're to, a queer you know, fellow. Help. I'm gonna have to do this. Hope for the best. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. There's something most unnatural here, and what you want? Actually, I think we're safe, unless like the confusion kind of like forces everyone to start killing one another. In which case, it's uh, not looking good. It's like looting everything now and what would you have me do? Uh, taking my time later to sort it. Your wish? So I was like kind of unfortunate. We really got like a bad roll with everyone trying to exit. I wonder if I can like maybe rest here. Expanded, not thickened. I mean, it, it only realistically By kind of like thickens when you get back to Baldur's Gate. And you're like, uh, go visit the Thieves Guild to gain access to the Undercity and so on and so forth. Um, awaits. It's just like basically kind of like the, the end of Act 2. Or like the, the start of Act 3. Even. Hurry up! Okay, I think one more rest should do it. Okay, that's fine. So let's see. Yep. I wonder like how many people were in this guy's party. Like three or four? It might be four, right? So, like, yeah, an archer as well. Because of course there is. What would you have? Me Why do? wouldn't there be? I'm just like waiting for yes, him to get in range. Yes, omnipresent authority uh, figure. Think, uh, never played that far. Really? You've never finished this? Oh, okay. I mean, it's not like a spoiler though. Um. Like after, like if you've played up until this point, then there's like no more like spoilers after this Hurry like up. there's no more like plot twists after this point what would you have me do okay can anyone just like hit the guy thank you very much jeez so annoying kind of like need to give this to emo and kind of need to stack it with this and just like put the arrows of biting here uh this of a wraith form Ooh. it's actually something that nira might want to learn uh also huh ah failed that sucks i think you covered most of what I've, we've played in like the second stream so basically just until nashkel and that's it and in that case, uh, if, if that's the case, then I would probably suggest you don't tune in for any more because they get a lot of uh, um, a lot of plot twists that you maybe shouldn't be experiencing. <laughs> Although in this case, it, it's probably me dying to a sword spider. Shit. Wait, what? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. How did I activate the... Uh, 
like a web trap. Hurry the up! Fuck! Kill the thing! What would kill you the have thing, me do? Sending you away? Nope. Your I'm just like advising do you that maybe. Do want to tell me a story about trollops and plug tails? Uh, Hurry up! Maybe you don't want to, to watch something that uh, you haven't seen uh, yet. Can I? You have need of me? Oh my freaking god! Can someone kill that thing? Thank you very much. Stupid. What is your command? Sword spiders. Uh huh. Theft me. So annoying. What would you have? Jesus. It's like for only two thousand XP's worth of enemies. It's more. so Please infuriating. Go. Kind of annoying that you have to wait for so long to get uh, um, like a trap detection out of the way. Ah, uh, yeah, and a face spider, of course, because why not? So the funny thing is that uh, I still can't actually quick save either, um, because that web thing is kind of still going off in this part of the screen. So, um, until the spell effect kind of like wears off, I'm not actually, you know, allowed to do anything. Good on you if you save the day. Instead. Hey, now we can quick save. Just like check for traps. Things like basilisks down here as well, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Yep. Yep. I really like doing that, like uh, with with uh, pause of the Chi Daimon is kind of amazingly good at kiting these things. So I don't remember, was it like just like spiders? I'm like fairly certain there were also like a few basilisks. Because I remember them giving me like a lot of trouble. Yeah, there we go. It's like the like the, the petrified uh, adventure is like a greater basilisk as well, I think. Yep. Yes, there is. Cool. It's like two of them. No, don't, 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 don't. Don't you dare get petrified. So, Hurry basically, up. what I want to no. do yes. is to have any petrification protection. From cold, good touch thinking cloud, foolishness, ugliness, dark charm, protection from acid, um, protection from. Uh, I, I, I bet like one of those unidentified ones is probably protection from petrification, but. Ugh, damn it. Oh, there we go. My bad. I'm just gonna get one of these, and I'm just gonna cast it on. What would you have me do, Khalid? If at first no I don't succeed, get him at the, the head of the party, forget. and then just like go in. <laughs> so it's kind of nice if if I send Khalid in first, they're probably like, gonna focus on him, and since like the greater basilisks, 90% of the time just spam um, stone gaze or whatever the spell is called. Uh, the, like all, all of the others can kind of like snipe from afar and not really care about it. Oh shit, no, my protagonist kind of aggroed the second one. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh. Like, look at that. Save from Polymorph, save from Polymorph, save from Polymorph. <laughs> Hurry oh, up! Shit, please tell me he's not. Oh, okay, he's not targeting me. That's good. That's so good. See, and that's how a 7000 XP encounter kind of becomes. This is it. <laughs> hmm. Back home? 
Puffcuts would always tell me a story. Puffcuts would always tell me a story. Da 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 da. Uh oh, what's this guy? <sighs> Dire me? No. What would you have me do? I'm gonna try and like. Uh... Oh wow. Nature. Just like got stuck awaits. there. Amazing. Your wish. Pathfinding in this game is choice. <laughs> what is it Just this time? Choice. You're a queer like, look at that. Branwen is stuck on the corner what with uh, Nira rang? for whatever Temple reason. Shield. Yep. Hmm. Hurry up! It's about time you got out here, Pratt. It is Pratt, isn't it? I don't need to tell you that we're not sent to keep. We were, must not keep the Sarevog waiting. I trust you didn't have any trouble in there. He said that the monks fell for the ruse and that Gregor was locked up, so he took the surface route out of the keep instead of meeting you in the crypts. We really must get moving if we're to catch up with him. <laughs> Terribly sorry, but I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> well, you certainly seemed like some sort of prat, if not the precise one I was looking for. I might have expected more guile from Sarevok's supposed most threatening enemy. Why he thinks he could stop his takeover of Baldur's Gate, I have no idea. Do you mind if I don't stay to fight? I have other more important things to be doing. Well, yeah, I kind of do mind if you don't stay, so die, please. Oh, wait, he spawned? Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. I was almost I sure that... Uh, would like have a fight with this guy i guess not it's like on a few more spiders oh boy yes and the web trap nice what would you have me do <laughs> you're a queer fellow your wish what you want hurry up Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. No! What would you have me do? Oh my god, can I like kill the thing someone? Wish? Hurry up! Is it like uh -huh. getting stuck like idiots? Wow. Yep. It's like definitely the, the worst part of uh, this game is just like having to cope with all the oh shit not a wraith spider uh, that one's gonna be a pain did it follow me oh yes it did yes it did uh-huh what would you have me do <laughs> hurry up I care not You're a queer fellow. There's like one more to deal with as well. Uh, let's see. No, two more. Oh no, a sword spider. No. Shoo, shoo. Run away. You've a task? Run away and buff the shit out of everyone. What is your command? Click on someone in your own size. <laughs> what is it this C time? Click on someone your own size. <laughs> Good guy. What would you have me do? Uh, can I help you? Hurry up! You rang? Nature servant awaits. Uh huh. Oh wow, look at all the poison damage it's taking. I wonder why. Do you want to tell me a story like why it was like stacking so fast. Tales, Maybe it's like because it's like a... Oh, never mind. We're like uh, hasted. That's why. Mm -hmm. Haste is so nice in this game. Seriously, so very, very nice. 
Oh no, another web. No, don't get caught. <laughs> what would you have me do? I guess we're done. There you go. Oh my god, look at Emo when she like took the long way around. <laughs> Jeez. Hello. Bronwyn's just like, wish? no, but I'm not traveling with you guys. You must gather your party before <laughs> <this>. <laughs> Seriously. Life continues to be quite the challenge. You have been accused of murdering the Iron Throne leaders, and the Flaming Fist will undoubtedly hound your every step because of it. Despite all of this, you must return to the city of Baldur's Gate, the very lair of your accusers. Yes. You must find and expose the one who is responsible for your predicament. You must find Saravak. Yes, you must. Hey, achievement. All on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be. <laughs> it's like basically the, the like the it's like penultimate chapter, I guess. It's only like a couple of chapters left until the end of the game. Um, so basically, I plan to go back to Baldur's Gate next stream and just like get all the way up until the end of the um what's it called up until like the end of the of chapter seven and then i think what we will do the way they come here oh yeah i wanted to sell some things so just like clear up until the end of chapter seven get told i need to go to like the under city or whatever it's called um and after that it's it's just like a question of like going and finishing the game so i think that's probably when i kind of want to go and do um uh what's it called durlax tower so that's kind of like an option at that point i guess but in the meantime I like, can make whatever you wish for a wee, wee little, little bit, bit more, more than, than the competition. competition. First of all, I need to sell, 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 sell. See if we can like manage to clear a hundred thousand <laughs> at this point. But what of Tears Gate or Freya's Gate or Heimdall's Gate? I mean, I'm sure they're keeping them uh, for like future expansion material. Yes. <laughs> Why is it always Baldur, Baldur, Baldur? I don't know. Maybe he had like better PR than the rest of them. <laughs> also, good evening, JLC. How's it going? How are we doing today? I'm like definitely hitting 100,000 if I can sell all of the scrolls that I'm not using. So, I guess Hurry I up. kind of need you to go to the high hedge. Forth. Mm. Oh boy, I got a headache though. Why is it always Baldur, Baldur, Baldur? <laughs> like I said, the guy probably had better PR. He did have great PR. <laughs> what would you have me do? I mean, wasn't he the guy that? Um, Why do I live in such a piss um, town? Wasn't he the guy that, like, his mom went around the world and told everything not to hurt him? Yeah. Except like a blade of grass or something like that. And that's kind of like what ended up killing him and starting Ragnarok or something. 
might be misremembering this, but I think that's actually the case. Mistletoe. Okay, not grass. Never mind. I was close enough, though. Eh. <laughs> okay, cloud kill I need. A Ganadzar Scorcher I don't need. Um, actually, don't need the, the Lax Scrolls either, to be honest. Or Detect Invisibility, because Nira's got me covered on that. Mm. Or Blair anymore, because everyone knows that. Uh... I like, want friends. I want Melfs to teach to this guy and vocalize and protection. Confusion, uh, I'm gonna give to Nira. Flame Arrow, I don't really need. So sell these. And sell all of these as well. Because the Ring of Princess as well. Bye bye. Oh, that's kind of sad. I'm still not hitting like a um, hundred thousand. Maybe if I hadn't bought Nira's uh, latest armor, <laughs> I'll probably have helped a bit more. Okay, and so identify these. So I'm just like not gonna bother with identifying anymore. It's like I, it's not like I need the money. It's like a hundred per identify it kind of like saves me some trouble with. Resting all the time at inns. So we can pop this in there. Nira can learn slow. Uh, letter can go in there. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. This goes in the stack with all the rest. Go back to regular plus one. Well, hold on. Actually, battle axe might... No, it's not better, actually, because... Uh, I kind of, like, figured that the, the sword was, like, slightly better. Uh, just because we have more proficiency in it. Which kind of sucks that that is the case, but, you know. What can you do? Failed, failed, failed. Not like it matters much, to be honest. Hmm. So one last thing is like probably all of the care set scrolls need to go as well. Because like no one's buying those and just like sitting in my inventory. Uh, might consider care set scroll of monster summon. And like see what, what exactly it's supposed to, you know, summon. <laughs> Um, okay, get this out. Vocalize, confusion, lightning bolt, minor cloak, and vulnerability, protection from magic. Done. Okay, so keep this one. Drop these. I identify these. And, haha, one of them's cursed. Figures. Like this one. The rest just like go bug it. Okay. Your wish? So I should be reasonably prepared now for the return to Baldur's Gate, which I'm not doing tonight. Uh, it's already like getting a bit late. I'm actually off work tomorrow, so I'm gonna kind of like work on this setup a little bit more. <sighs> like my Casting spells camera. isn't as easy as I make it look. I'm tired. I just noticed it should be pointing like slightly above where it was. So basically next time is going to be kind of like prep work to do chapter 7. Wrap up whatever I need to do with like the Thieves Guild. And then probably use like the rest of the night to try and clear Durlak's Tower. Which is going to be fun. Perhaps this group needs not or quite as much help as I thought. Not. <laughs> I mean fun is kind of uh, subjective in, in, in that specific dungeon um, certainly becomes a lot more enjoyable if you know what to look for and just like to be aware there's like traps everywhere and like there's like Tonight puzzles you and sleep stuff hunted oh, by all. god damn it and wake in a dream hunted god by damn you Sarevok. tonight you are the monster everyone claims you are the kobold scorned like a rodent the ogre that children fear comes in the night 
The mobs yes, and their give me my holy mind for you, thing. Thank you counting very much. you among the creatures you once did hunt, or so someone would have you believe. Uh -huh. Once again, you hear the voice, a voice that now makes no secret of its origins. It speaks we of destiny and nature, <gasps> and of evil bred dum, in the bone. <laughs> it says you will never be free of the mob, that they will hunt you for what you are. Murder and death run through your heart, and accepting that will supposedly give you power. The nope. essence of Baal within you cannot be ignored. But you have not ignored it. You realize that from the first you have fought the very blood in your veins, fought dagger and claw for each victory, and ultimately you have triumphed. With righteous will, you have turned the dark forces within you to good purpose. Whatever the foundation of your being, you have remade yourself in your own image. Amidst threats it does not yet know are empty, <laughs> the voice tries to play upon your doubts, but finds none. As you stare unwavering, the presence grows weaker and weaker. As it fades from your yep. mind, one warning does stand out amidst the din. It speaks of others that will listen where you have not, others that will embrace what you have rejected, and others that will be your death. Yeah, this so basically we're going to be spending man, the next two, you know three expansions no be, and another full game your trying form. to stop them. This kind of sucks, but you know. So, draw upon Holy Might. Hurry up! I think that's like also the final special ability that we get from like the visions. Since... Uh, um, what would you have me do? Well, actually, maybe you get something in like Siege of Dragon Spear, but probably not. Since like the, the the next ability you ever learn is kind of in like halfway through Baldur's Gate 2, when you actually start like learning how to channel your Baal lessons or something. Um, which is a kind of interesting ability, if I'm being honest. Um, kind of turn into like this thing. <laughs> Hmm. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend you. Seriously? I seriously got waylaid by three regular kobolds. Wow. I'm like shaking in my boots. Or something like that. I serve the flaming no, fist! We're not here, we're not here, we're not here, we're not here. Leave, 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 leave. There we go. Safe. I serve the flaming fist! <laughs> you want some whiskey? You may not rest while your party is scattered. Really? I mean, they're like right I got there. Some cheap beer for ya. So this is like night time, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna save here and call it for tonight. It's like hopefully... Um, hopefully it's gonna be a bit more... Uh, uh, progress, I guess, done tomorrow. Because like I would probably have gone for like another hour or so to... Just like get the the chapter seven stuff out of the way, but I'm very tired, and uh, I would rather just like get an early night rather than you know like uh, drag it on for more than it needs to go. So let's see who be raid, who we raid. There's like no one that I'm following that's actually around. That kind of sucks. Well, I guess that's it then for tonight. Have a very pleasant evening, everyone. I am probably going to finish the next chapter at least tomorrow. Probably not the entire game, but we'll see about that. Um, have a great night, and I hope to see you around soon. Good night.